zippers up. This way it's going to be a little slower because now I'm going to have to go down in the blind right here to start loading that back half right there so hopefully we'll build a stack in front of us and if we do that it'll make it easier for me to land the can so I'll see what they got going on I don't want to tell my boss how to do things because they this is their operation so I'm just going to go along with whatever he tells me to do and um, if he says I can do it any way I want, then I'll switch up to make it easier for me. Lee, 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 put that out three and short. Well, three and short, sorry, three and short. Ten four. Yeah, the next one will go uh, two and short. Okay. I've been here only a couple of days. I know one of my old bosses from my old place is here, um, and she's awesome. No call, Dr. Dutch. I'm about to be a while, Bob. No call. She's an awesome boss. So if she's here, I know it's got to be a good place because um, she doesn't like to put up with all that drama shit at different places. So i know i got a good crew here my boss down here he's he's a good boss man just it's nice when you got a good crew and good people you're working with man. it just makes your job more pleasant to be at and you kind of look forward to coming and spending some time actually you know what bob i'm gonna be calling on that it's coming out of order right now give, give me calling on that please yeah Start your one. So see, he said they're coming out of order, so he had to make a decision change right there for cones. And um, this one I already know is getting cones, so I'm gonna lift it up gently. the winds died down i'm looking at the flags over here they're not blowing hard but i can tell you that wind was wicked this morning man but i checked the wind gust it was like 25 mile an hour with 45 mile an hour gusts so uh most of these cranes are about 45 miles an hour they'll have a wind alarm some of them are at 55 miles an hour so and again my boss told me this morning if it's too windy or i'm feeling uncomfortable to let him know and we can stand by um but uh, I think everything's fine. Like I said a little while ago, you guys saw that wicked little helicopter I had, but that could have just been the wind blowing that thing. Let's see. There we go. And again, guys. All right, put this one in the back. 10 four. Okay, so this is gonna go in the back. So, see, he's making this can get into a spot. He's just laying everything out so that we can start loading it correctly. So, it's it's nice when you got somebody that knows what they're doing and trying to make it easier for his crane driver because it makes it easier for him too. We didn't get the back end right there. That was weird. Okay, there we go. Don't so we're just popping this into the back reach right here. And this will be so I can come and grab it later. 
So what I'm gonna do is stick it in a safety lane, just in case a car, a uh, truck or something needs to go in that lane right there. And a lot of people ask me about your marks and how do you know how close you are? I'll tell you, if you guys look at your shadow, if you guys can see the shadow. All right, I'll be offshore with it. If you guys can see the shadow, you can kind of tell where you are with your beam. So let's see if we can see it on the can here. So I'm not even close to that can yet. There's no shadow. There's no shadow on the can. There we go. There's the shadow right there. So literally, when that shadow pops up, I'm literally right over the can. And that's just because of where the sun's at. Later on, the sun will be in a little higher spot and you'll be able to see a little more of your shadow as you're bringing your um, beam down to the can. So that kind of helps you out. So remember that, look at your shadow. That'll help you tell you where you are on the beam there, uh, on the can. So you can see we gotta lift a little higher because I gotta go over these three eyes. I have it a little lower if they weren't there because I know I'm going down to the deck. You can see I don't have that big helicopter anymore. So I'm pretty well, let me know if no one pulls up, please. Almost, almost. And like I said, it's even harder when you're offshore because we're at the end of the boom here. So we get a lot of bouncing, like a diving board. Just missed that damn thing. But right here. Shit, I had it a little too high. That's my problem with this crane right now. I can tell when I'm moving it, it's a little higher than it looks like to me. So. Pick up gently. Hopefully that's it. It's not. Looks like it's got to float a little aft. Shit. It's really a bitch, man. This thing's bouncing too. Just waiting, patient, oh shit, I missed the wrong one. I got it, but it was the wrong one. Gotta go a little more off, right? Talk to me, bad boy. 